How are you doing, Anna? In Jorge? Hi. Hi. Hello, teacher. Yeah, Adriana. How is everybody doing? Good. Nice. Tired. Nice, teacher. Nice. Are you tired, mm -hmm. Anna? No, no, I'm tired. Today is raining. Is the climb is very, very like. And the weather. Mm -hmm. We said the weather is really nice to be. Yeah. Safe. And resting and yeah, I know. The same happens here. It's I want I want coffee, chocolate. <laughs> yeah. It's a good day for being drinking hot drinks. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. I was feeling like that too. I was like, oh, I wish I were sleeping. <laughs> I understand, yeah. but yeah, we have to, um, it's just gonna be an hour, so we're gonna be ready soon. <laughs> How are you doing, Fatima Emperatriz and Edwin? I'm fine, thank you, teacher, Hi. and you? Doing well, too, yeah. I'm kind of uh, like Anna. I'm like, oh, it would be nice to go and relax and uh, uh, go to bed early because it's really good weather. <laughs> I already had my cup of coffee, so I'm ready. Yeah. What about you, Fatima? Was it raining there? Está lloviendo ahí? No. No. Okay. Yeah. Edwin, are you a teacher, Edwin? Uh, no, no, I'm a technician. Oh, nice. What kind of technician? Mm, I fix computer. Oh, wow. You are so technological. I'm not. <laughs> yes. Actually, technology. Technology and I, I think we are not friends. <laughs> oh, but it's good for you. Good. Where do you live? I'm living in Ayutuxtepec, San Salvador. Oh, good. So, uh -huh. San Salvador, Santa Ana, Chalchuapa, or Aguachapan, Ana? Your microphone is muted. Sorry. You live in Chalchuapa or Aguachapan. Where do you say? Or any of those? I live in Carasucia, uh, surf Aguachapan. Mm, got it. Good. I live yeah, near the, the beach. Wow, that's nice, but it's kind of um hum humid, like really hot and sticky. I don't yeah. like that. Yeah, <laughs> it's very, very hot. Yeah, but yeah, it's good to live close to the um to the sea. Then you can go and have fun. Yeah, nice. What about um, you? Where do you live, Ana Guerra? Sorry that I'm asking. Is not that I'm gonna do something just? Uh, I have been like a lot of days with you and I have never asked because time is really short. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, I, I live uh, in Los Planes de Renderos. Oh, nice. That's a nice weather there. Um, Good. Más o, más o menos. Antes sí era bien fresco, ahora ya. No, not no too much. much. <laughs> no much. Yeah, that happens. Yeah, uh, good. Good then. Okay, it's gonna be almost time and we have 11 students. And let me see, who wants to share where do you live? And if it has been raining? 
It has been raining here since yesterday. Nobody wants to, <laughs> wants to share where do they leave. That's fine. <laughs> Fatima Abigail, Herbert, Joanna, and Adriana are here. Okay, we're going to start our class, and we're going to start with the ones that were here. Um, we're going to start today sharing. We're going to share, have you ever done the one that you tell two things that are true and one that is false? Have you ever done that? And dicho, dos cosas que son verdaderas, y una que es falsa. ¿No? ¿Alguna vez lo han hecho? No. No. Ok. So, I'm going to say two things that are true. Voy a decir dos cosas que son verdad y una que no es verdad. So, you have to guess which one is not true. Tienen que adivinar cuál de las que digan no es verdad. Ready? Ok. Ok. My three things are the next ones. First, I have been in three countries. Second one, I used to play the, uh, basketball in the um, high school team. And the third one, my favorite pet, pet uh, was named Michi. Which one is true? First, second, or third? Number one is true. Which is false? Tienen que adivinar cuál es la falsa. Uh, es falsa? Number three. Number, Your number two. Number three. Number no. two. Number two. That's true. Number two is false. Yeah, I like soccer, but not basketball. I was in the like uh, soccer team. <laughs> I have been in the. I was in the soccer team in high school, but not in the basketball one. So, and yeah, I have been to three countries: um, Costa Rica, Guatemala, and United States, and El Salvador. Actually, four, but. Or it doesn't count. Actually, it does, but. <laughs> okay, good. Who wants to be the next one? ¿Quién quiere ser el siguiente? Adriana Guadalupe? You want to be the next one? I can give you two minutes to think about two things that are true and one that is not true. Okay, le voy a dar. Dos minutos para que piensen en dos cosas que son verdaderas y una que no es verdadera. Y vamos a adivinar la que no es verdadera. And when you get ready, you can tell me I can be the next one. Good evening, Eugenia and Roelma. After, can you tell the ones that uh, were not in the class what we are doing, please? Your microphone is off. Who wants to tell the ones that? Hmm? Elma and Eugenia, uh, we are doing two, we are writing sentences, three sentences. One, it has to be something that is not true. And two of them has to be things that are true. 
Estamos escribiendo dos cosas que son verdaderas y una cosa que es falsa. Una cosa que es falsa. Ajá. Okay, when you get ready, you can start. You can raise your hand and tell me I'm ready. Cuando estén listos, pueden levantar la mano y decirme estoy lista. Okay, we're going to listen to Ana Hércules. Okay. We're going to guess. So go ahead. Uh, turn on your microphone. Su micrófono está apagado. My song is North American. Mm -hmm. mm. I study English in USA for three months. Mm -hmm. I don't have a visa. I'm sorry, sir. I have a visa. You have a visa. Okay, which one is uh, not true? I think two. What is number two? Two, Daniel. Uh, number two. What is number one? What? Number one? Oh. Is number. I don't have a visa. La perdí. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because okay. I'm sorry, because I have a baby. <laughs> Me la anularon. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sorry to hear that. So, who wants to be the next one? ¿Quién quiere ser el siguiente? Edwin, go ahead, Edwin. Okay, first. And then I Joanna love, Beatriz. Mm -hmm. I love the coffee. Mm -hmm. Number two, I like fishing. Number three, I play football very, very well. Three is four. Number three. <laughs> Number three is four. Three is four. Uh -huh. three. Yes, the number. Three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Joanna, your turn. Okay. Um, the first, I have two doves. Mm -hmm. Um, I have a cat. It's named Tiro. Mm -hmm. I I have two sons. Okay. Three. three. Two don't have three sums. Three is false. <laughs> three Number is three. false. Number three. <laughs> yeah. No tengo cara de dos niños. <laughs> okay. Okay, so, good. You don't look good. good. It's very young. <laughs> okay. Okay. Only one. Who wants only one. That's good. Oh, it depends on how many do you want. Okay, who's the next one? Who wants to be the next one? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Ana Guerra. My favorite color is white. I love it. The cat, I love it. The football. I love it, the football. Three. <laughs> Two. Three? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And, good. And we said, I love and football. If you say like uh, South Dorian or like football that people play here, that's uh, called soccer. Soccer. Mm -hmm. But if you're talking about football, American football is the one that they play with. They get really heavy and uh, like that I is the one that. Uh -huh. 
So <laughs> that's the one that they play in uh, the United States. And I don't know which other countries they play too. So, mm -hmm. and you can say, I love to play football or I love to play soccer. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Jugar, ni jugarlo, ni verlo, teacher. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think you are I love my Diana. Hola. Yeah, I... You are on my team because I don't like the football too. <laughs> soccer? Okay. Yeah, I I grew up with my cousin and he was a boy and he was always playing, so I have to follow the flow. So I have to. Okay, good. Uh someone else, this can be the last one, and we're gonna start our class. Alguien más? Oh, comenzamos la clase. Eh, ¿Cuántas eran verdaderas y cuántas falsas, teacher? Dos verdaderas, una falsa. All right. Ah, pues mi teacher. Go ahead, Jorge. Eh, number one, eh, I like play soccer. Eh, okay. mm -hmm. Number two, I study, en, I study English. Uh, number three, I like car racing. Oh, which one? Juan Panameño, which one is false? Number three. Number three? Number one. Number one. Uh, is that right? Three. Number uh, three. Okay, good. <laughs> Número tres okay. que es falsa o verdadera. Falsa. <laughs> oh. uh, no. Oh. Number, one. In... number one. Is number one false? Number one. Yes. Number one false. Okay. Good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. So we're going to start with our class. And... Um, Today, we're going to say the date. Today is Today is Tuesday, Thursday, August 12th, 2021. Thursday. Thursday, August 12th. Good. Very good. And today we're going to also go to the present perfect and we're going to compare present perfect versus the simple past. So we were uh, doing yesterday, we were talking about the verbs that they change. For example, in past, if I say do, the verb do, what is the past of do? Done. Did. 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 Y el pasado participio es done. 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 Yeah, that we use in the present perfect. Okay, good. What about which is the past of uh, which verb? Uh, have. Which is the past uh. of have? Has, 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 uh -huh. but that one is the same one in uh, present perfect. We use had, so present have, had, had. So you have to kind of play with the three tenses and know which is a uh, present, past, and um, which one do we have to use in the present perfect. So present perfect, it shows a relationship between past and present time. So when we talk about present perfect, we go a little bit in the past, but it's in the future. For example, when I said, I have been working um, since 2008, that means that I have been working and I haven't quit. I continue working. So it's in the but it's also in present. That's why 
The present perfect shows a relationship between the past and the present. And the simple past. So when we talk about the simple past, what do we talk about? ¿De qué hablamos cuando hablamos del pasado? De algo que ya no. sucedió. Uh -huh. de la algo. Algo que ya pasó. Lo pasado, pasado. No puedo cantar, pero bueno. <risa> Lo pasado, pasado. Ya pasó y no tenemos regreso hacia atrás y no podemos hacer nada más. Si hicimos algo, ya pasó y no hay nada más. So, that's, the, the, mm -hmm, that's the simple past. Then, in this one, we go kind of, when well, we're going to a little bit past and present, things that, like, you have been dating a person for... 15 years and you have never get married. That's an example. So I have been dating my boyfriend for, I don't know, sometimes we date um, people or my girlfriend or someone for a long time. So that's present perfect. Cuando algo, esto de, ha pasado, no, bueno, es parte del pasado, pero todavía es parte del presente. Okay. Preguntas? Here. Yeah. Okay, mm. good. So mm. now we have a present perfect and simple past. And these are words that are going to help you to know what, what are we talking about? Is it present perfect or is past? Four, we have four, and four can be used for past and for present. So that uh, can be tricky, but you have to see which is the form of the verb. But this one, um, since, yet, already, ever, and never can be used in any tense. But you have to see which is the verb that follows. But these ones, the second that I have to move this. This one, since, yet, already, and ever, these are Exact those words we can only use them. Well, ever have you ever we can use it in in uh, um in another tense, but these ones are used in present perfect. And what do we have to see? What do we have to see when we have present perfect? ¿Qué tenemos que ver cuando usamos el presente perfecto? Que el verbo vaya en pasado, parte, participio. participio. Mm -hmm. Exacto. So, in the simple past, the uh, clue words that we're going to have are, which ones are those which you can help me? Todos? Last. 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 Go. 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 Yesterday. 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 Mm -hmm. So we can say last morning, last evening, last week, last year, or uh, we can say two years ago, three years ago, four. So those are words that we use in simple past. And yet and already and ever, um, when we use the verb in yet and already, already, usually we use it in other tenses, but we have to see that the verb in is in past participle. Tenemos que ver que el verbo va en pasado participio. Okay. Then I will go to the next one. So, can you... Read it with me. Four. Four. In the last period of time. Mm -hmm. Last okay. period of time. Uh -huh. So Science. then we have. Okay. So we have for present perfect, we have four. For a period of time. Months. Since. Since. 
Jet. 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 Already. 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 Ever. 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 Never. 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 And for simple past, the clue words are last. 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 last go. 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 Yesterday. Yesterday. Good. Good, good, good. Now we are going to see like we have present perfect and simple past. We're going to see the difference. So it says he has he never played golf before. So that is something that happened in the past but can be part of the present. Because if I ask you, have you ever played uh, golf before? So you can say, um, or that has he played um, golf before? So he has never. But then in past, how do we know? We said, well, he has, he or she, she didn't play golf yesterday. So yesterday. that is mm -hmm, past. What do we notice? ¿Qué es lo que notan? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre el presente perfecto y el uh, pasado simple? The verb. El verbo. Uh -huh. El verbo. El verb. And the has, form. The verb. The, verb. Verb. the auxiliar has o oh, have. Uh -huh. And, and, and the past simple se usa el did or didn't. Sorry, mm -hmm. didn't. Exactly. So we have has never played and the verb goes in the past participle. Decimos pasado porque es similar mm -hmm. al pasado, pero con los verbos irregulares es, no es así porque son um, irregulares, entonces cambian. Entonces se dice pasado participio. And this one, can you help me? Let me see. Number two, my sister. Can you help me? Fatima Abigail, can you please read my? My sister has mm -hmm. written mm -hmm. many books. Good. Thank you. And Ada, can you? Can you read it in past, please? Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Wrote many plays. Mm -hmm. Shakespeare wrote many plays. So this is in past. The verb is in past. But this one, it says, my sister has written many books. That means that she wrote some in the past, but she continued writing, writing books. That doesn't mean, as it says here, she is still writes books books so that means that she is always doing the same so that's why here is past shakespeare already died he cannot write in, uh, books anymore um plays anymore so that is in the past cannot be done anything do you think in present perfect we can do something Yes or no? Yeah, some things can be done. Okay, good. The next one. And then we have present perfect and simple past. And I'm going to have uh, helping me. Um, hmm. You are. Okay, I will have. Uh, um, 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 I don't know which one to choose. I have too many options. <laughs> hey, someone who haven't participated today that is being shy. Okay, uh, Juan Panameño, can you read this one, the first one? He? He has worked there for a year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you ask it? Can you please read the past? Oh, 
Can you hear me, Astrid? How oh, he starts. Uh, he worked there for six years. Mm -hmm. So here we have, he has worked there for he six years. So we have four in both present and past. But why do we know that one is present perfect and one is simple past? Because of, of the verbs. The auxiliary verb is have yes, and the verb was, yes. goes mm -hmm, in past participle. So if I said he has worked there for six years, that means that he still works there. Eso significa que él aún está trabajando. Por ejemplo, mm. Arturo, how many years have you been working? ¿Cuántos años ha estado trabajando? Ernesto Arturo. <laughs> <laughs> for six years but in the present perfect in the first in the first option is the, there are two sentences he has worked there for six years and he still works there if mm -hmm. you have uh, only the first sentence mm -hmm. how do you know it's a present perfect if you know this, the, the information of the second sentence yeah mm -hmm. So that means in the second one, in past, he is not working or he doesn't work anymore in the place. Es como, por ejemplo, alguien ha trabajado por ocho años en la misma empresa, pero todavía está trabajando. Entonces, yo puedo decir, I have been working for eight years. Y significa que todavía estoy trabajando ahí. Pero si yo digo, I worked for eight years, that means that I already quit, that I am not working there anymore. So, si yo digo que ya que trabajé por ocho años, significa que ya no estoy ahí. Ya con esa empresa o con um, esa persona ya no trabajo más, pero en esta sí. Es que, ya, then, we go to the next one. Okay, there are different ways that we use the simple, uh, the present perfect and the simple past. And um, Eugenia, can you please read the present perfect? It talks. It talks about something that happened in the past, but we don't specify when it has happened. Mm -hmm. uh, the first so, example, I had bought a new car. Mm -hmm. so. In este caso, it says that um, don't specify. No le especifica compró un carro, pero cuando no dice específicamente cuando lo compró. Entonces, en ese caso usamos presente perfecto. Uh, can you please read the simple past? Person, could you hear me? Person Elias. Can you please read the simple past? Okay, we're gonna... <laughs> Esmeralda, Carolina, can you please help me reading the simple past? Uh, your microphone is off. <laughs> Esmeralda, your microphone continues being off. Su micrófono está apagado, Esmeralda. Thank Sorry. you. No worries. Okay, that something, something happened at, at a specific time in the past. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, that is specified as. Oh, go ahead. 
Eh, I, la, lo siguiente. Uh -huh. Example. I, ¿Cómo? El ejemplo. I bought a new car last week. I a new car, la, la palabra que está ahí en negrito. I bought. I bought. I bought a new car last week. So this is being really specific. When it was, it was La semana pasada. last week. Mm -hmm. Last week. So that's why we use simple past. If I said last week, that is um something that is telling me that already happened. And it is being really specific. Okay. So those are the ways that we can use the present perfect and the simple past. Next one. Um, I'm gonna have um, um, um Jesus Antonio. Read the present perfect, please. He has already learned you to ride a bike. Mm -hmm. he, uh, he has already learned, do, do, that's hard, learned do, to ride learned. a bike. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and the next one. Roelma, can you read the, the simple past? Okay. He learned to ride mm -hmm. a big two months ago. Él aprendió a montar bicicleta eh, dos meses, hace dos meses. ¿no? Mm -hmm. sí. Yeah, thank you. He has Hello. learned sí. to ride a bike. Bike. Porque By la E no suena. Oh. Bike. Bike. Mm -hmm. Bike. Two, Two months, months ago. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, sí. thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. as you see here, it's something that already happened. It's been a specific too, two months ago. Uh -huh. It's been a specific the time. So that's why we're using simple past, not present perfect. Good. And already, yesterday we were talking about already. Where do we, where do we write already? Donde escribimos already? Alguien puede decirme. De acuerdo a la oración, donde escribimos already? Eh, antes del verbo Ajá. antes verb. del verbo en pasado, pasado. pasado. Uh -huh. y esta es una oración afirmativa, negativa o interrogativa afirmativa una, una afirmativa, afirmativa. Exactly. so we use we use already in affirmative sentences no podemos usar re, already En oraciones negativas o interrogativas. What do we use in interrogative questions? In negative. Jet. We use jet. Oh. Exactly. Jet. So we can see have, has, he, Learn to ride, oops, to ride a bike jet. So that's how we use it. So we can use it in the interrogative. Uh -huh. So jet interrogative. Has he learned to ride a bike jet? Probably he haven't. Right. Mm -hmm. So, how do we answer that? ¿Cómo, cómo respondemos right. a esa pregunta? Ayúdenme. Help me. Ah, aprendí. Uh -huh. How do we yes, answer has... that? Yes, uh -huh. yes. Thank you. We yes. can do. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. He, he has. has. has ¿Y cómo es la forma contractada? He's yes. uh -huh. already learned to ride a 
bike. Okay, how do we answer the negative way? No. Ajá, esa es una forma larga. You're right. <laughs> so then we can use already. That's uh, what I'm trying to. Okay, and in the way, in the negative way, how do we say no? He hasn't. Is then? not is hasn't he, he, he's an, Has. he's, 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 he hasn't okay, he has he learned to ride a bike yet has mm -hmm. has learned, learned, learned to ride a bike yet ride a bike yet, yet. So that's why we use jet in which one? Negative. So negative sentences. Here we have. Get in question in negative. Exactly. And already in affirmative. Good, good, good. Then we can go to the next one. And these are the exercises that we couldn't finish yesterday. We will finish them today because you already um, know how to do it, but we can do it together in case that we have questions. So here, which is the verb? We have mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then actually I sin. I what? I, I, I have seen. I has or have. Are you then? Have. Um, have. have. I have. I have. And then? Have seen. Have seen. Do I, I have. I have seen any jet. If that that sounds right or not? Can I use jet in affirmative? No. 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 Then how would be there? Ah, negative. Have not. Haven't. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I don't I haven't. Exactly. I haven't. Have seen mm -hmm. yes. I haven't seen any jet any jet because mm -hmm. we have to remember tenemos que oh my <laughs> tenemos que recordar que el jet solo lo usamos para negativas yes. por eso mm -hmm. Tiene que ir el verbo auxiliar, have, y el negativo not, y el verbo en pasado participio. Actually, I haven't seen any yet. Good. That's good, good, good. Any questions about that? No. No. Okay. Is this the first time that you have uh, been uh, studying the simple, uh, the present perfect? Is la primera yes. vez que han estado estudiando el presente perfecto? Sí. ¿Cómo yes. se sienten? Está difícil. Yes. A lot of. No, menos. Yeah, A kind of. of. Mm, yeah, it can be. It can be, but. Um, as I said yesterday, with time, you are going to learn how to do it. Okay, then this one, which is the verb? ¿Cuál es el verbo? Be. 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 Have you been? Uh -huh. Ajá. Entonces, been. tenemos que saber que el pasado participio de been, de be, is? Been. 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 Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. been. Then, here, what do we need to make that question? ¿Qué necesitamos? The auxiliary first. Auxiliary. 
Ajá, el verbo auxiliar. Y como tenemos you, which one would be the auxiliary verb? How. Have. Have. Uh -huh. have. Have. You. And then we know that is been. That's why it's important to know them. Have you. Have you been to any interesting parties recently? Have you been? Yes or no? No, no, no parties, no parties at all. Okay. Actually, I have. I have been into one. My cousin got married, so I went to a party. But that was because she got married. <laughs> Okay, good. Then the next one, which is the verb. So we have to focus in the verb because it's important to know it. Go, which is the past participle of go? Gone. 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 Which is the past Gone. of a go? When. 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 Good. It's important when. to know two, the two of them too because then it's like, which one do I have to do? Okay. No, I haven't. haven't. I haven't gone. I haven't gone. Mm -hmm. I haven't gone to any parties for quite any a while. Parties? For quite a while. Okay. Mucho. Yes. Quite is mucho, pero en qué en qué frase se utiliza quite? How do I explain that? So it depends the context. Is like in this case, no, I haven't gone to any party for quite for quite a while, but um, like. How may I say? Well, I haven't. Uh huh. Like I, in that case, is no he ido al, a ninguna fiesta por algún tiempo. But if I said I have been eating quite a bit, so es como oh, he estado comiendo un poquito, un poquito, mucho poco, o, mucho poco. Uh mm -hmm, I, I can say I have been eating quite a lot. So. Es como he estado comiendo demasiado. Es depende del contexto en que se use. Son, son expresiones, entonces. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This one is like an expression. Okay, good. Then this one, call. What is the past participle? Called. Mm -hmm. Cold. Cold. Mm -hmm. Cold. This one is. ¿Este es un verbo regular o irregular? Regular. 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 Mm -hmm. It is in past and in present perfect too. In el yeah. in past participle. Good. So then here, what do we have to write? Have you called? Have you called? Have you called, mm -hmm. called, have you called have you any, called any mm -hmm. friends today? Sorry, have you? No, I haven't. <laughs> and then I mean, this one, yes, I. What is the pass of participle of made? Made. Mm -hmm. Made. Yes, I. Uh, I have uh, already made. Mm hmm. Have already made three calls. Good. Probably in the future, he or she is going to make more. Good, good, good. Okay. Done. Um, get um so how may I say stress out if you don't know how to like that work because it takes time, okay. And if you don't know some of the verbs in past participle, I would encourage you to learn them.
que aún no se saben algunos verbos en pasado participio, los les recomiendo o los, ¿cómo decir? Los, les sugiero que se los aprendan para que les cueste menos. Ya cuando se lo sepan, ya se les va a hacer más fácil. Okay. Questions? Ok. Questions about it? No? No questions? Sí, no, questions? No questions. Ok, good. Because you are ready. You already know. And then it's going to be your turn. Ok, since you are ready, you don't have any questions. And you know how to use the past and the simple present. Uh, the uh, present perfect, we're gonna practice. Okay, so you have to do two things. Write five sentences in present perfect and five in past, simple past. What you can do is like the same ones that you write or you can do the opposite. Five in past and five in present perfect. What you can do is the same ones that you have in class, you do it in, in which? In the present perfect. Let's see if it's clear. What, are, what do we have to do? ¿Qué es lo que debemos de hacer? Write five sentences. Uh -huh, five sentences. But what can we do? ¿Qué es lo que podemos hacer? Uh -huh. En pasado o oh, perfecto y en pasado sin. Uh -huh. En presente perfecto y el simple past, en pasado simple. O si no pueden las cinco, hagan tres. ¿Y qué dije? ¿Qué pueden hacer? Por ejemplo, si yo la hago en pasado, la puedo hacer en um, present perfect, en presente perfecto. En uh, We can do one together. Podemos hacer una juntos. Aquí en el chat. Ayúdenme. ¿Qué sujeto quieren usar? Which subject do you want to use? Sí. Sí. Ahora, ¿qué sigue después de he? What it follows? <laughs> sí. But uh, we're making a sentence. Estamos haciendo una oración. Vamos a usar solo el sujeto he. Él. Entonces, yes. vamos a hacerla en presente, en presente perfecto o pasado. ¿Qué quieren? Choose. El past. We're going to do it in past. Or present perfect. perfect. Ok. He, what, if I, what is next? ¿Qué es lo que sigue después? La vamos a hacer en afirmativo. He. Has. He really has. Uh, Ajá, he has y has después que va. Verbo o podemos The usar verb. El... Uh -huh. verb. Past, present, future, past participle. What is going to be? ¿Qué tipo de verbo? Play. Ajá. Y ese verbo está en pasado participle. Part yeah. En pasado. He has played. What? ¿Qué? Present perfect. Vamos a poner soccer. Okay. Soccer. He has played soccer. So, ese es en presente. Perfecto. ¿Cómo lo haríamos en pasado? Past. How would be in past? He... He... Uh -huh. He has played soccer yesterday. He does. He does. ¿Es presente o, o pasado? Sorry, sorry. He didn't. He did. He did. Sí, puede ser didn't si la hacemos en negativa, pero si la hacemos en afirmativa, ¿qué sería? It. He did. The verb. The Which verb. is the verb? The verb in past. 
simple past. Uh -huh. As you, right. He played soccer. Mm -hmm. Or he didn't. As Yesterday. You, mm -hmm. He didn't play soccer. Uh -huh. So he, en pasado, played. Eso lo va el sujeto, el verbo en pasado y el complemento. He played soccer. Y le podemos agregar un tiempo específico. Yesterday. Y quedaría así. Este es el pasado. Ahora, ¿creen? ¿Creen tres? Tres. ¿Creen tres oraciones? En pasado y presente perfecto. Y después, si tenemos tiempo, las vamos a compartir con alguien. O en el grupo aquí. Okay. I'm going to give you... Around four minutes. No la pueden escribir en el chat. You can uh, write them on chat. Teacher, I have a question. La Go primera ahead. estaba en pasado participio. Sí. En, en, y la segunda. Uh, en presente, en presente perfecto. La primera estaba en presente ah. perfecto, que el verbo va en ah. pasado participio. Uh -huh. ah, yeah. uh -huh. La primera en presente perfecto y la segunda, uh -huh. teacher. En pasado. En pasado. Uh -huh. Y la tercera. Yeah. We ah, have been learning. Um, lo que escribió Herbert we have been learning English that is a uh, present perfect continuous we have been learning English that's another tense with ing Si tienen preguntas, puedo ayudarles. Acuérdense que el sujeto puede ser el mismo para todos. Solo que en el presente perfecto usamos el verbo auxiliar have y has. Y el verbo va en pasado participio. Porque el pasado, algunos de los, los verbos regulares se mantienen, pero los irregulares cambian totalmente. Si necesitan ayuda, aquí estoy. Ok. Ah, Fátima, my sister has never watched TV in the room. Porque esa es, my sister has, lleva el auxiliar has, el sujeto es my sister, y usted tiene que agregarle has, y después never, Watch, que va a ir en pasado participio. O sea que es un poco, yo creo que algunos están un poco como confundidos. Pero es de seguir la, la estructura. De en el, cantando como las, como las cabritas de Heidi en la montaña, perdiditos. Andamos igual que las, las cabritas de Heidi, perdidos. Perdido totalmente. <risas> vale. vale, pero voy a hablar en español para que no se me pierda. ¿Cómo puedo ayudarles? ¿En qué estamos perdiditos? Simple past versus past participle. Ajá. Vaya. Cuando hablamos de pasado, es algo que ya pasó y que no va a volver a pasar. Entonces, yes. cuando hablamos de pasado, solo va el verbo en pasado. Por ejemplo, mm. el que pusimos, que es bien sencillo. He played soccer yesterday. He played. Significa que él jugó fútbol ayer. Oh, ayer. Mm -hmm. Ajá, ya pasó. Pero si yo digo, he has played soccer. Eso significa que él jugó, pero probablemente va a jugar otro partido o va a seguir jugando 
en veces, si él jugó, ya no va a jugar. Eso ya está en el pasado. Pero si yo digo, he has played, probablemente es un partido de fútbol que se juegan diversos partidos. Que jugó a las 10, después a las, digamos, a las 2, le vamos a dar tiempo para que descanse, y después jugó a las 5 de la tarde. He has played, he has played soccer. Y lo que pasa ahí es que va el sujeto, el auxiliar has y el verbo en pasado participio. Y en pasado participio, al igual que en pasado, que en el presente perfecto, al igual que en pasado, tenemos verbos que cambian totalmente y verbos que solo les agregamos ed. Entonces, por eso es importante saber cuál es el verbo en presente cuál es el verbo en pasado y en pasado participio, para saber qué verbo y cómo lo voy a usar. Yes, no, maybe. Hoy sí, ya entramos un poco al círculo. Un poco al círculo, ¿qué? Okay. Ajá, uh -huh, like... Uh, Juan Panameño said he has worked at the farm or in the farm for 10 years. Eso significa que él ha estado trabajando en la granja por 10 años. Entonces, eso significa que él sigue trabajando. Pero si yo digo he has he worked in the farm or at the farm for 10 years, significa que él ya no trabaja en la granja ya no trabaja ahí, ya, ya terminó su tiempo, ya no va a seguir trabajando. Ajá, en Eugenia said, my daughter has written a good article. Ese es presente perfecto. ¿Por qué? Porque posiblemente su hija va a seguir escribiendo más artículos. Entonces, pero si ella solo escribió uno y ya no va a seguir escribiendo, ella podría decir, my daughter wrote an article or a good article. That means that that's the only one that she wrote and she's not going to continue writing. Yeah. Okay. I think on Monday, we're going to have another review. So I will try to find a video and I will send it to you guys. And then you can have a little bit better understanding about it. And thank you for all the ones that wrote. Okay. I have what? My sister for six months. Okay, good. Okay, thank you for participating and think about it and check the past and the simple, the uh, present perfect. And we're going to have the next class on Monday. So, revisen un poquito del pasado y, vamos, y del presente perfecto. Y el lunes vamos a hacer el repaso, vamos a repasar un poquito más. Y cualquier duda, piensen, terminen a uh, la plataforma, trabajen este fin de semana y si tienen cualquier duda la vamos a aclarar el lunes y el martes que tenemos para repasar y para hacer um, un poco de algún tema que todavía nos falte como el um, present perfect, el presente perfecto. Okay. ok, thank you, have a good day. Thank Good you, night, teacher. Everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.